Hello. <laughs> so I've decided to write the story and read it to you instead of just telling you the story or memorizing the story because I have been kind of delaying this for a little while now. I don't want to make this into some kind of performance and I don't want to ramble on and share information that it's unnecessary so that's why I wrote it. Uh, but I also don't want to memorize it because I don't want to act it out because that's what it would require me to do. Memorizing it and then saying it, it would be kind of performance-like and I think the story is really, um, it's close to my heart, it's about things that have manifested and so I'm going to read you the story and I hope that reading the story it's still entertaining enough or inspiring enough. So yeah, so here we go. So about two years ago when I was trying to picture my life with limitless abundance, I asked my friends, what would you do if money no longer mattered? One of their answers piqued my interest and sparked a desire in me. I, I knew I wanted to travel, so that was my answer. And theirs was to have free education. And then I thought about how amazing it would be to get paid to travel and get paid to learn. What a dream come true that would be. So I continued my life, fast forward, and I was running out of money. And I started stressing out about the idea of having to work just for money and did not enjoy the job. And I wanted to be making money from my online artwork at this point. And don't get me wrong, I wasn't doing too bad. I was making money from both of my art galleries. It just wasn't enough and to sustain myself. And I didn't enjoy the marketing part of my work. So I didn't want to pressure anyone into joining just so I could get by. And then I ran out of money, so I was forced to apply to for financial assistance for a couple of months while I looked for work, and bam. I got a job along with my brother, which was very exciting at first. <laughs> we ended up absolutely hating the job and can probably say that it's the worst job we've ever had. Um, even though we've actually cleaned dirty toilets back in our cleaning days, so that's how bad it was. <laughs> I was really confused during this time. I had been working like really hard for so long and I was basically without a social life. I gave so much of myself to my creations. So during this time, I was meditating, I was reading more than ever, I taught myself discipline, I learned so much about myself, and I created new and healthier habits. This is also when I decided to explore sex transmutation, which I made a video about earlier, uh, which you can check out my channel. And I aimed to manifest my ideal reality um, through sex transmutation. And I felt great. I was high on life. I felt changed, transformed, and ready to live my dreams. So why was I out of money? I felt abundant for a long time. Why was I doubting now? I believed so strongly before. So why was I feeling defeated? When I was triumphant for so long, why didn't it work? Why was the law of attraction working against me it made no sense but i knew that doubt in the midst of all that was going on was not going to result in my dreams coming true so i knew that my enemy was doubt and every time i let it in it pushed my dreams away so kind of like tug of war i needed to concentrate on high vibrations in order to pull in my desires so the longer I stayed believing, the bigger chance that it would come true. So I couldn't doubt. I needed to stay firm and be happy and feel abundant, even if my bank account did not reflect that. And for the first time in my life, I was at the lowest I had ever been financially. And for once, my emotions did not reflect that. I felt trust and peace in my heart my stubborn mind refused to believe that everything i had done was for nothing 
believe was all I had and I was gonna grab onto it as hard as I could.